and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. This episode is going to be a bit special. Mostly because my uh, commentary file got corrupted, so this is actually post-commentary for once. It's kind of weird. But anyways, last time I'm pretty sure we were pretty much just talking to everyone in town to get the plot to go forward. So at this point we're just heading over to the mayor's house. Let's see, we should have everyone in town. Uh, we went to the church before, so we talked to Perry, I think. Although, we did actually miss someone, as we're about to find out. So yeah, when you talk to him, he should progress the plot. Unfortunately, uh, we kind of forgot someone. We never actually went to the dock area. So yeah, after this we need to head to the pier. I always forget about that area. Honestly, you don't really go there that often early on. The only thing over there is like the fishery. And even then, you never really have to buy fish. Later on, it's actually pretty useful, but right now there's nothing there. So yeah, after finding out that we missed someone, we head over to the dock. Uh, let's see. And I think it's at this point that I, yep. I decided to show off some menus. So, uh, oh, I remember now. I want to see if they set what they set my birthday to. They set it to day four of summer, which is actually kind of close to my real birthday. Uh, these are the levels for my tools. We suck at everything right now. And here are the friends of uh, in town. We don't know anyone. However, one thing they do add to this game is basically the ability to track people. Also, I don't have any livestock. So yeah, you can see that they can tell where people are now. So we tracked Maya, and she's at the Ocarina Inn. Actually, if they're in the same area, it would actually have a little arrow showing you where they are right now. It's actually really useful. And yeah, we have nothing. So anyways, after that, I went over to the dock. And we meet some new people. They kind of own the inn. Also, yeah, ships don't work right now. Although the water seems fine. Maybe it's like in Bravely Default where like the ships decay the second they touch the water. But otherwise, it looks like ships should be able to come in. So, I introduced myself to them. Uh, let's see, this is Jake and I don't remember his wife's name. But they own the Ocarina Inn. Which is right over there. Honestly, I kind of forgot she existed my like first time through. Colleen, that's it. Yeah, I never actually see her around town, now that I think about it. I don't really go into the inn that often, because I don't really need to buy food. But it's there, but that's basically what the Ocarina Inn does. You go in there, you can buy cooked food, which is useful early on, because raw food doesn't really recover that much. And here I am doing something. Oh right, I decided to stop tracking Maya just to clear up the area on the screen. Yeah, it'll stay there until you deactivate it, and you can only track one person at a time. So we'll save that if I ever need to like find someone in a hurry. So with that, we should be able to have everyone, uh, we should have talked to everyone in town. Still, we just head back to the mayor. Only to find out about one other thing. He'll tell us in a second. Guess what, I forgot one more person. Chase is kind of annoying to find just because... We've been everywhere, but he only appears if you go to, like, a very specific place of the church grounds. You'll see once we actually go there. So yeah, we missed one more person. That means we're going all the way back to the church. At least it's nearby. But I think this should be the last person we missed. Uh, I don't think we missed anyone else. So yeah, time to head back to the church. The loading screens are kind of annoying, but they're not really that long, honestly. 
I say during a long loading screen. Also, I don't think we actually talked to the animals in the area, did we? Uh, last in the last episode. There's also one other animal that appears in the area, but he's not here right now. So, I finally found the last person in town. Or is he? This is Chase, as the mayor already told us. I honestly thought he was a girl the first time I played through. In fact, I'm still not sure he's a guy. Also, he doesn't look very happy. And here we find out that fire is also kind of broken in town. Yeah, all of the elements are kind of not working properly. Water won't let the ships in. They can't even cook with the fire, apparently. And he introduces himself. We already know he's chased, though. And we learned that the bar isn't actually selling anything right now. Also, my favorite animal just appeared. You could see him for like a split second in the background. Uh, we'll see him again in a second. There he is! This is the Pyrenees. He's adorable. So adorable that I decided to get a picture of him. I mean, just look at that face. Oh, he's so derpy. I love dogs. Uh, I think I still have that picture in the file. I might delete it, but probably not. So anyways, with that, we finally go back to the mayor and hopefully get everyone. Only one way to find out. Also, what am I doing right now? Uh, I guess we're just looking at our stats. We have nothing. Like, at all. I was probably talking about something over that, but I don't remember what. It's been like a week since I recorded this. This episode, not the commentary, obviously. But now that we've talked to everyone in town, time to go to the mayor. Also, I should have started giving people stuff, uh, like, right away, but we don't really have anything to give away right now. And we get a little favor, er, a little favor to us, a little favor to ask of us. Oh, that's right. You have the toolbox for some reason. Not really sure why the mayor needs the toolbox, or has the toolbox, but okay. And with that, I got the toolbox. It's important. That means we can't throw it away. And he tells us how to give stuff to people. Which, honestly, actually the first time you play through a Harvest Moon game, that might be something you don't really know about. So I'm kind of glad they do actually point out that you can give people stuff. Kind of a nice little touch. But anyways, with that, it's about time we head home. Although, I think after this, I'm gonna head straight to Flute Fields, which is kind of a long walk. So expect a lot of travel time in this LP. That is the one thing I don't like about this game. They really expanded the landmass from like a Tree of Tranquility, which is good in that the world feels bigger. It's bad in that the world literally is bigger. So it takes a while to get anywhere. At least until you get like a horse or something you can ride. So yeah, Flute Fields is to the east of, uh, of the house. We haven't been there yet, have we? Like, I know I've been there in future episodes, obviously, but I don't remember if we went there before in episode 1. Probably not. Actually, yeah, probably not considering we get an introductory cutscene at some point. Also, yeah, it is kind of a long walk. But anyways, welcome to Flute Fields after the grief loading screen. Let's see, here we go. 
So yep, this is Flute Fields. It's actually, Flute Fields is technically over the bridge. This is just the path to Flute Fields. But there are two main buildings in the, or two main structures in the area. Uh, I think we're gonna head over to, okay, we're going to Marimba Farms. Wait, yeah, Horn Ranch and Marimba Farm. We're gonna go to Marimba Farm first. This is where you basically buy all your seeds. We come here a lot. Nice place. They have a massive field compared to us. I just noticed that. Also, unfortunately, we don't really get to explore the area behind it. It looks really pretty. And Finn tells us to basically go look at the place we're about to go. Thanks, Finn. But this is the main shop. The building next door is the, uh, what is it? Is the house where they live. Also, technically all the stores in every area are closed on a specific day. So like Flute Fields, everything is closed on Wednesday. Uh, let's see, the mining district is closed on Thursday, I think, or Tuesday. And in town, everything's closed on Sunday. Also, this family looks really unhappy. I mean, just look at them. Yeah, this family's not doing so well. The whole soil not working properly is kind of really taking a toll on the farmers. Considering they do nothing but sell crops and seeds, it's kind of understandable. That being said, this lady, her name is Ruth, and she's not the nicest of women. Especially to her husband. Even after you fix everything. Also, everyone's really interested in us. Although, I guess there's not a whole lot of new people that come around. So yeah, their names are Craig and Ruth. Craig isn't exactly happy right now. Neither is Ruth. And this is Tyler, obviously. And we also find out that, yeah, the soil doesn't work right now. Although, honestly, that doesn't really affect your own crops. For all the uh, hoopla they put about, oh, the soil isn't making good crops anymore, you can still get the same type of crops right now, even before, like, restoring the earth. Kind of weird. Although it would kind of suck if you couldn't get anything good, like, early on. Because money is kind of tight in this game. Also, we get free seeds. Actually, I think it's the opposite of what he's saying. The more you plant, the worse the soil is going to get. You need to, like, fertilize to make it good again. He's kind of lying to us. At least that's what I remember. Also, he gave us nine of them, which honestly is a really good deal, considering they were free and cabbage sells were quite a bit. That being said, I still went back in to buy more seeds, because more seeds means more crops, and more crops mean more money. Uh, let's see, what did I decide to buy? But yeah, she sells crops by themselves, seeds, trees, and like, uh, oh right. Oh yeah, so I bought, basically I bought a straight strawberry from here, and a set of strawberry seeds. Because we're going to need that strawberry for something later, and it's good to do it while we're here, just so we don't have to keep coming out. It's good to try to minimize as many trips as you can, just because the travel time takes so long, and it kind of takes up a lot of time. Like, it's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, no, that's not that late. For some reason, 1600 hours always sounds later than it is. Anyways, after that, we went over to Horn Ranch. We're gonna be over actually, we're not gonna come to Horn Ranch that often compared to Marimba Farm. This is basically where we're gonna buy all of our animal products and our animals. It's important, but we won't come here as often. Although I like the people here a lot better. Yes, we know it's Horn Ranch. We just read the sign. 
but let's take a look around. Uh, we can see Kane over there in the background. We met him earlier. He's the one who brought us here. Kane is a cool guy. And the people of Horn Ranch in general are a lot cooler than the ones at Marimba Farm. Mostly because they don't seem to secretly resent each other. Also, they have pictures of cows in the back on their wall. That's always a good sign. Unfortunately, they don't seem to be doing that well either. Yep, we already met your husband, actually. Yeah, everyone's been saying that. Although, would... Actually, no, the Earth being bad could affect the animals. Oh, right. They do have a giant windmill, and the wind is kind of broken. I guess that would make sense. Although, they could just feed on grass. But they seem a lot more cheerful here. And they even give us a free sickle. We're gonna need to buy grass at some point just to, you know, have grass to cut. But if you cut grass, you can make fodder. And fodder is good for feeding animals. At least Hannah seems to be in a good mood. Anyways, uh, we got a sickle, but we're also here to buy something. Most, More specifically, we're gonna buy some milk. In a second. They also sell all the animal tools and feed, and all of the normal, uh, what is it, potions. But we want to buy some milk. It doesn't matter what kind. Also, we only have 190 gold. I should have probably bought more seeds, but oh well. I did buy one strawberry seed, didn't I? I think I did. But anyways, now that we've met Hannah, let's go see Kane real quick. And see who else lives on this ranch. I think Kane is inside the barn. Yeah, he's inside the barn. It's kind of important that you go see Kane. Not only is he a cool person, but you'll see. There he is. Also, adorable cows are adorable. I don't know. Technically, we haven't started ranching yet. We've mostly just been running around talking to people. We haven't actually, actually, have we done any actual farm work yet? Also, he gives us a free calf. This is why Kane is my favorite in the area. He's not only the most cheerful, but he actually gives you su uh, free stuff. And yeah, one thing you can do in this game is ride your livestock. That includes cows, sheep, and horses. Unfortunately, you can't ride chickens. Which is kind of a shame, because I wouldn't like to see that. But yeah, we can pick any of the three. Honestly, they're all pretty much the same, but I decided to go with the black and white one. Just because classic. And we have to name it. Uh, let's see, what did I name? Oh, I remember what I named it. Technically, they give you a whole lot of default names. And most of them are male, surprisingly, despite the fact that the cow is female. But I decide, you know what? Let's just start naming them after old Harvest Moon girls, because I don't think there are actually any repeating ones. Except technically Witch, but that's not really the same as the other games. So I decide to name her Ellie. So yeah, we have a cow now. Her name is Emily and she's adorable. Also, uh, yeah, she, he gives us a brush. Brush is used to take care of animals and makes them like you more. So now we have a brush. Uh, what I go in here to look at? Oh, right. Uh, let's see. I think it's because I didn't have any fodder. So yeah, we need to go buy fodder. He doesn't give you any. Which is kind of irresponsible, honestly. What if you spent all your money and you don't have any m more money to feed her with? What about then, huh? 
But no, we decided, I decided to go back and buy some fodder. At some point later on, I'm gonna buy grass just to start planting it, so we don't have to buy fodder anymore. But early on, fodder is really cheap. I think it's like 20 gold per piece. Yeah, 20 gold. So I decided to buy like 6 or 7. 7. Because that's all I could really afford. We're down to 50 gold. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to get more poor as the LP goes on. Like, I think my record so far has been like 5 gold at the end of the day. It's really easy early on to spend all your money. Because you have a lot to buy. And things tend to be expensive. Also a baby boar. But with that, I basically just head back to the farm. There's a rock here. That's going to be important later. But there's also one more person we haven't met yet. She's right over there. She's kind of far away. But anyways, we have another bachelorette we meet. Also, why is the windmill making sound? There's no wind right now. Anyways, this is a new bachelorette, basically. We haven't met her yet. Actually, I think we've met almost all of them by this point. She's the daughter of Cain and Hannah. And yeah, the animals aren't doing so well right now. Strangely enough, that doesn't affect us either. Our animals will do perfectly fine, honestly. They will leave the barn whenever they want. But anyways, her name is Renee. For some reason, I wanted to call her Hannah for a second, but no, that's her mother. She's another bachelorette we could uh, choose. I honestly like Renee. She's probably one of my favorite bachelorettes in the game. Although, I kind of like all of them for once. There's no one I really don't like this time. But with that, I decided to head back to the barn. And I think we'll end the episode here. There's honestly nothing else left to actually show. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Magical Melody, I just said the wrong thing. Animal Parade? I'm used to it. Shut up. But anyways, next time on Animal Parade, hopefully we're back to live commentary unless something else goes horribly wrong. So, till then.